All right, everybody. This here, Petrus Volatans, lionfish. Um, I want to dispel some of the misconceptions about them. A lot of times people think these bony structures on their cheeks, they're really sharp, but they're not venomous. And again, everybody calls these a poisonous fish. They're venomous, like a bee sting is venom. Um, they have these large spines. You see these fans, these sheaths? Well, what a lot of people don't know is that behind the sheath is where the venom and the needle is, is this comes down and it exposes that crystal clear hypodermic needle. Now there's small V's that shape up like this that contain the venom. So when you push down, it injects the venom. They're located there. They're located here on this fin. On this fin, there's these one inch ones here. See, see how it starts to come out right there. And then there's three down here on the anal fins that can get you. A lot of people think these side fins have them. These do not. They're just actually really just fanned out. Um, for a lot of my Texas folks, when you look at them, they're closed mouth, they're, but they actually open up and they can feed just like a large mouth bass, which is <laughs> surprising to a lot of people. They're gluttonous eaters. Their stomach can really expand. Um, they're indiscriminate eaters. So once I fillet this, um, we're gonna go ahead and open up the stomach and take a look at it and see what we got. But again, a lot of people don't know that the meat on these are beautiful. It's a white flaky meat, much like that of snapper. Um, they're one of my favorite fish to eat. Um, there's a lot of different ways. Some people use electric fillet knives. Um, for this purpose, what I'm gonna do here is uh, show you a neat little trick I learned a long time ago, is if you're not a fan of skin on, lionfish skin actually just peels right off once you give it a place and it exposes that white filet that is just beautiful beautiful meat um, now there's a lot of research that's done with these there's a lot of papers that's come out of these i've met so many incredible people through the lionfish community um, i'm not trying to get any of this <laughs> any of this rib meat here so i'm going to go right over those and down through here Take this fillet. Now granted, there's some ribs in there, but I really like to respect the harvest. There's a, there's a lot of meat there. These are great for tacos, for ceviche. I just, I really enjoy lionfish. Yes, um, some people take the time to clip all the fins before they clean them. I do not. I just prefer to clean around them. For me, it just seems to be the easier to track. Um, Every time it seems like every fish is almost like the first fish you fillet. It, like, oh, did I forget how to do this? No, well, if they've been sitting in the cooler or anything like that, of course, the, there's gonna be different ways the body moves here. And <laughs> you never know. Um, a sharp knife helps. This one's, uh, I've been filleting all morning, so this one's a little bit dull at the moment, but we're gonna make do. Again, I peel the skin off my lionfish. It saves from having to scale them and everything else. Plus, I think that's just a little bit easier. Um, I keep the glove because of these bony structures. Um, while I'm always concerned about an inadvertent sting or something like that, that's fine. But those bony structures hurt on your bare hands. And you're spinning them around trying to clean them. That's where I see a lot of my, my hand cuts that usually come from these. Excellent, look at that. I mean, that's a whole baked filet right there. Now, let's get in here and take a look at something. Usually we would take these a very different way. Removing the heads is how we would do it with like a strong pair of scissors. Um, open it up so that we can see. We'll split them down the chest here. Pose, get to that, get to that stomach. All right, let's see if this guy had anything to eat today. So, it doesn't look like this stomach has much in it. It is a male, here are the gonads. A female can be a broadcast spawner. They lay egg sacs surrounded in venom. You would see that in here with the ovaries. Let's pull this stomach. Um, out where I work, there's a lot of red night shrimp, um, 
brown chromis and other damselfish that'll be eaten by these guys. And so, you know, it all depends on where they're at. If they're on a chicken coop or something like that in Florida waters, they usually have a very different story. So let's see, this one doesn't look like there's much in it. Um, we did one a little earlier ago that had a whole nother, it looked like a small, like almost a, a small snapper in it. This does not appear that he fed on anything. So unfortunately, womp womp. <laughs> but as you can tell, they're very hardy species. Um, they're delicious. As humans, we have to eat them to beat them. That's what we gotta do. These derbies and things like that, like the Emerald Coast Open are incredible for it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's impressive what, how big they're gonna eat prey their size and smaller. So there's your lionfish. That's a perfect way to have a lionfish. Meat, things like that. Awesome. Choo! Thanks for watching.